Major Eric Richard Neal Jr. was laid to rest with full military honors on Saturday, October 16. It was a two-day event that ended at Homeland Memorial Cemetery, with a convoy of vehicles joining the procession from Price Barracks, where the 41-year-old soldier had resided with his wife and daughter. It was a somber event that reflected the respect and love that many held for the man that once served in many capacities, including the former Governor General's aide de camp. Brigadier General Stephen Ortega told Love News that he would remember Major Neal as a scholar and a pioneer in higher learning at the Belize Defense Force. It's a very somber time for us in the BDF as we lay to rest one of our officers. Um, it is always a testing time when a family member dies. And so this is how it is for us right now here in the force. Uh, Major Neal, I think, joined about 17, 18 years ago. And I know he did his officer training in Guyana. And he was one of the few officers in the BDF who would always stress on academics. Guys, get your academics going, you know. Get your masters, get your bachelors, get your degree program going. And so that was one of the things he always stressed on. And, and I believe that that's one legacy that he'll leave with us. And I believe the officers coming, coming behind will understand the need for, for such. Major Neal also wore the hat as Chief Scout for the Belize Scouts Association and was a sitting member of the Scouts Endowment Fund. His contributions and passions for scouting was exemplary, as noted by Roberto Lopez of the National Executive of the Scouting Association. Major Eric Neal, our Chief Scout, he was our Chief Scout. He held the highest position anybody could ever have in the Scout Association of Belize. So his position was a position that just does not bring encouragement but it also brings a lot of knowledge and a lot of advocation for young people. And this is what Major Eric Neal did for us, our Chief Scout. He was a person that was there to advocate for the young people. He was there to put the young people up to the forefront of anything that the Scout Association used to do. So when you ask me what is Eric Neal to the Scout Association, he is more than just our Chief Scout. He's a friend, he's a brother, he's a companion, and He's more than anything else a lovable person that the Scout Association could have ever encountered within the Scout movement. Neil's sister, Antoinette Neil Leslie, stood at the Sir Colville Young Parade Square, still trying to come to grips at the loss her family has endured. The sounds of the 21 gun salute reminded the dozens in attendance that this is a farewell for an incredibly respected soldier. As the red urn was placed inside the columbarium, the sister comforted herself, saying that Neil would now be her guardian angel. I don't have the, voc the vocabulary to describe my brother, but I can truly say loyal, honest, friendly, loving, caring. He's a complete package. He's, I've never met anyone like Eric Jr. So unique, so kind, so open, ready to help a helping hand. I mean, I cannot describe who he is. To me right now, my angel. Neil has been dubbed the patriotic Belizeans in many quarters. Former CEO in the Ministry of National Security, Felix Enriquez, told Love News that he relied heavily on Neil for balanced reporting and investigations within the force. His tenure with the former Governor General, Sir Colville Young, spanned over a decade and his dedication to the Scouting Association was unparalleled. Neil passed away on October 1. Reporting for Love News, I am Vigie Alvarez.